Good afternoon, neighbors. Notice I got my sunglasses on. This is in the afternoon, and I wanted to take you to a place. I thought I'd try another approach, seeing if this would get across. I wanted to take you to a place that was, I think, beautiful. And if this was around my home, if I drove by this every day, I would be pleased. So here, here is a section. Now, does this look pretty to you? To me it does. Of course we've got some boulders. And we've got some a creosote. Got a creosote right in here. Got a brittle bush. We've got the burr sage. You see the burr sage in here. Now, and, and the burr sage grows in clusters, so usually when you see one, you see lots of them. Now, this is, this is beautiful. And um, we've got the foreground plants, which are the smaller in the front. We've got background plants, the creosote, never been trimmed. We've got the saguaros and some Palo Verde in the background. We've even got some, some fish or cactus back here. You can see them, I think you can see them way back in here. Now, this has never been trimmed. No gardener has ever trimmed this. No gardener has come in and said, well, this creosote here has reached its potential, so we're gonna chop it down to six inches. No gardeners come through and trim this burr sage into balls. You can see it all through here. On its own, it gets to be about two feet, in two feet high and about three feet wide. And it's a pretty plant. No gardeners come through and taken. I'm having a hard time seeing it so bright, but see this Palo Verde? It's, it looks beautiful to the bush with the, with the uh, branching and leaves at the base not trimmed with clean trunk up to the top so that it has to be retrimmed. So this is what I think our landscape should look like. You can even see back in here, right here and here you see some Ocotillo native to the area. So, I just thought maybe I'd try a new avenue and see what you guys thought. Because to me, our roadside could not be more pretty than this. These are most of the players that our developer put in our plant palette on the roadsides and most of them have been removed, or good portions of them. And if they were left alone and still there, instead of seeing large sections of soil and rocks, which I call rocks, balls, and walls, we'd be seeing these plants taking the eye off the soil, eye off the boulders, and eye off the walls. And it does one more, two more things. It reduces the soil temperature because it's, it breaks the, the sun from reflecting off the soil and it helps reduce the traffic noise. So, okay friends, I'd say that's all I got, but that's all I've got for today. We've got more, I've got more I'll show you. This is just a, a beginning of, so that we can understand instead of paying tens of thousands a month, well, 10, over 10000 uh, a month and a couple hundred thousand a year, how much would this cost to maintain by nature? I'll be talking to you.